Good evening children. Today I bring to you the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I'm sure most of you must have heard of this story. But for those who haven't, here it is. Once upon a time there was a little girl called Goldilocks who lived in the middle of a great forest with her mother and her father. Now ever since she was tiny, her mother had told her she must never ever wander off into the forest for it was full of wild creatures especially bears but as goldilocks grew older she longed to explore the forest one wash day when her mother was busy in the kitchen hidden in clouds of steam goldilocks sneaked off down the path that led deep into the forest at first she was happy looking at the wild flowers and listening to the birds singing but it did not take long for her to become hopelessly lost she wandered for hours and hours and as it grew darker she became frightened she started to cry but then she saw a light shining through the trees she rushed forward Sure she had found her way home only to realize that it was not even her own cottage that she was looking at even so she opened the door and looked inside on a scrapped wooden table there were three bowls of steaming hot porridge a big one a middle-sized one and a little one Goldilocks was so tired that she quite forgot all her manners and just sat down at the table. The big bowl was too tall for her to reach. The middle-sized bowl was too hot. But the little one was just right, so she ate all the porridge up. By the warm fire there were three chairs. A big one, a middle-sized one, and the little one goldilocks couldn't climb up into the big one the middle sized one was too hard the little one was just the right size but as soon as she sat down it broke into pieces goldilocks scrambled to her feet and then noticed there were steps going upstairs where she found three beds a big one a middle sized one and a little one the big bed was too hard the middle sized one was too soft but the little one was just right and she was soon fast asleep the cottage belonged to three bears and it was not long before they came home they knew at once that someone had been inside father bear growled Who has been eating my porridge? Mother bear grumbled. Who has been eating my porridge? And baby bear gasped. Who has been eating my porridge and has eaten it all up? The bears looked round the room. They looked at the chairs by the warm fire. Father bear growled. Who has been sitting in my chair? Mother bear grumbled, "Who has been sitting in my chair?" And baby bear gasped, "Who has been sitting in my chair and has broken it to bits?" The bears went upstairs to look at their beds. Father bear growled, "Who has been sleeping in my bed?" Mother bear grumbled, "Who has been sleeping on my bed?" and baby bear gasped who has been sleeping in my bed and is still there suddenly goldilocks woke up all she could see were three very cross looking bears she jumped off the bed ran down the stairs and out of the door she ran and ran and ran and by good fortune found herself outside her own cottage Her mother and father scolded her but then gave her lots of hugs and kisses and a big 
bowl of soup. Goldilocks had certainly learned her lesson, and she never, ever wandered off again. Did you enjoy the story, children? Hope you did. Good night and sweet dreams.